Hello, hello, hello. All right, we're back with another stream uh, today. As usual, we're going to be playing the Maiden Abyss game. Because that's all that I play. And, uh, yeah, should be, should be fun. There we go. Oh my god, as usual, I have to lower my own volume. Because everything is insanely loud for some reason. Alright. So, um, uh, not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing today in-game. I thought that I was going to just go for, like... Um, a black whistle rush, basically, just try and get the black whistle, but I don't know. I don't know if there's, like, specific timings for when you can do certain quests. Like, if you stop being a black whistle, maybe you can't do certain moon whistle quests. I don't really know. But, um, yeah, you know, I think for now... I'm just going to try to do a couple side quests, just because, like, I can. Alright, so I've got this one. I've got this one. This one I can do whenever. I would like to just take care of these, just to get them out of the way sooner rather than later. The rest of these, I don't know if I need to do them. I guess I do have the one to, like, fight, um... Ozen, which would be nice to get out of the way as well. But, uh, yeah. I don't know, we're just gonna play a little bit. I don't think that the this quest should be too difficult to get, um, to become a Black Whistle. Don't think it should be too hard. So, you know, maybe like an hour, hour and a half. Maybe less. I, I have no idea. I'm not good at estimating that kind of stuff. I mean, we can go straight to the fourth layer. But I guess then we won't have any rope. I don't know if we need rope. Whatever. It's not important. For now, we're going to Grand Bridge Way. Which I believe is in the first layer. Here. Uh, so to go there, I need to go to the gondola. So let's do that simple. I think the shirt that I'm wearing is itchy, so I, I keep having, like, an itchy back. <laughs> Which is not ideal. Um, I don't know why I'm killing these guys, to be honest. <laughs> I was thinking about trying to farm tail meat, but I realized that I can just, like, get hard meat, and hard meat's really good when you cook it. So, yeah. I'm just gonna cook some hard meat whenever I get back to the town. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think today's stream is going to be relatively chill compared to the previous one. I mean, the thing is, there's so many, like, side areas in the fourth layer that there is kind of a question of, like, whether or not I should, um, explore them. But if I spend too much time in the fourth layer, it could end up being difficult for me because, like, it is a... Well, it's not that long of a way back up. I mean, it wasn't super hard to get back up from the fourth layer, to be quite honest. So, we'll see. Maybe I'll do a little bit of exploring before I become a Black Whistle. Who the heck is this? Some random... Oh my god. Bro. I messed up. Walk away. Yeah, these guys are these guys are pretty weak. 
<laughs> Dude, and the quick time event is so long. Okay, nice sound effect. You saved me. I was no just problem. By to deal with that head tail. God damn it. Pick the very worst time to mess up. Bro, just get a relic pickaxe. It's Raider literally two hits. Orphanage? Yes. I see. That orphanage has a lot of talent. Yes. The leader there, what's his name? Jiduo. He must train his people well. Yes. Are you heading back to give your report at the orphanage? Yes. Well, I'll go too and say thanks for the help. <laughs> nice. Expedition one down. Seems you were able to defeat the headtail. Yeah, it was pretty easy. Took two hits. Oh, gotta have to clip this. I'm glad you guys sent out help for me. I barely managed to survive. I see. Who are you? We always help each other around it's these parts. Octavio. Even so, you sure know how to train strong cave raiders. I'd like to team up on the next cave raid. You heard him. What do you say? I'm getting like FPS issues in my avatar All for right, some reason. Let's do it. If you need my help, just give me a holler. <laughs> If you need my help, just keep. Okay, I mean, can, can I take him with me now? A promotion exam to be. Abel sure seems to have a high opinion of you. Listen to me. Do not betray his trust. Oh, I guess I should talk to everybody to let them know that uh, I might become a black whistle. Oops. Does she have any thoughts? If someone tries to make you a better offer. You have to report it to me. There are lots of troublesome formalities, like transfer fees and other such stuff. Um, okay. I mean, I'm about to become a black whistle, no cap on a stack. Recently, I've been withstanding the 600 meter ascension strain. Congrats. It seems I haven't reached my limit as a cave raider yet. I've been teaming up with Nat on cave raiding recently. Bro, y'all are still red whistles? I'm about to become a black whistle, man. I finally got used to cave raiding with the big gondola team. I think I might be able to become a blue whistle soon. I hope you do. You aren't home much. Busy cave raiding? Dorothea plays with me, but I still feel lonely. Aw, poor guy. Hello. I suppose it's supposed to be Dreamcast. Hey, hey. Or is it more literal? Dreamcast. Did you find a shiny stone? I do have a shiny stone. Here you go. Wow. Wow. Limber scales. Let's go. Oh, another side quest. Yeah. I just started the stream. So still kinda hanging out. Probably gonna do some side quests before I Go on a deep expedition. I'd be nervous to bring a stranger to meet the unmovable sovereign. Whenever she's displeased, are you a fan of this game? Accidents may occur. A simple flick from her could be deadly. Anyway, I need you to come with me. We're visiting the unmovable sovereign. Oh, okay. There's much cargo to deliver to Seeker Camp. I need your help transporting it. I guess we're going to Seeker Camp. Congrats. But I'm getting better. I'll do my best not to lose to my legendary calling. Good luck with that. Alright, let's go ahead and drop a quick save. Oh, uh, do I have food? Oh, okay. Well. Spoiler alerts, I guess, for the future. Uh, game's pretty fun. I like it a lot. I I like Made in Abyss a lot, so when I heard that there was a game, I was like pretty hyped. And have not been disappointed yet. The game's a little bit janky at times, but it's fun.
Yeah, Red Whistle, there's there's a lot of like introductory quests and things you gotta do, so it can take a minute at times. Um, I do have a quest to kill some of these dudes, so go ahead and do it. The skill tree is super cool too, like, obviously, you know, eventually you'll unlock everything, but there are some things where it's like, unlocking them first can be better than others, so, a little bit of diversity, I guess, in a way. It's kind of nice that, like, I don't know how much you want to hear about the future parts of the game, but, like, kind of as you start to progress, there's less kind of quests that you need to do in order to advance, and it's more so just, like, specific tasks, you know, mostly just diving really deep. So, kind of like that. It's, um... You know, a little bit more fast paced, I suppose, progression. You also get quite strong. Makes you feel like you're actually leveling up as a raider. is me. So you finally decided to visit. It, it's been a while, unmovable sovereign. If you have business with me, I'll listen What a silly inside. title. Follow me. I understand. I know. I should reward you for transporting the cargo. Yes. Master? Yes. Master has been waiting with anticipation ever since spying Jidua through the telescope. Oh? Oh? This child seems to know me. Did we meet last time? Ah, you're Maruk? I'm surprised to see you in that getup. I thought you were... Oh, yeah. You know, doesn't it look good? Yes. Well, did you bring me gifts? Yes. I have brought much to you, Unmovable Sovereign. So many quirky interactions with the characters. That's another nice thing about the game, is that, like, a lot of the characters in, like, the show and manga you kind of only see for a couple episodes, maybe. Whereas here you get a lot more interactions and between different characters. This ought to be good with liquor. Want a drink? Just for a bit. I have to wake up early tomorrow, so please go easy. I know. Of course. Amazing. I don't believe it. You fought Master when she was serious. That's too reckless. This is no joke. You could really die. Eh. It's fine. In fact, I'm gonna go fight her again because I'm still trying to not get wrecked. What is it? You want to fight me again? This is becoming a chore, but I made a problem. Okay. I don't really know how I'm supposed to win this, but 
you know. We're trying to make do. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, she's so t Okay, well, I'm dead. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> that was easy. Well, that's what you have to look forward to. And I can't can't load my autosave, so. Uh. Lord. Okay. Alright, come on. Eat some food. Oops. Yeah, some of these quests where you gotta, like, gather a bunch of items can be a little bit annoying. Whenever an area only has like 10 items to collect. Okay, my character's still hungry. Honestly, usually I don't really like games that have a bunch of like crafting mechanics or hunger mechanics just because I'm not somebody who's super into like hyper simulations, I guess. But um, I don't know, I think that this game's overall mechanics are simple enough that I don't like feel that it's super tedious to um, interact with those systems. That makes sense. What is with you? Oh, I'm over encumbered. Uh, let's go ahead and make this meat. What the heck? make this meat. There we go. Now we'll fast travel up, I guess. Hmm. He always gonna want a shiny stone. I should probably give him a shiny stone. Oh, I have a shiny stone. How about that? Just move all this crap into my item box. Probably won't ever need it, but I've got space for it. Hey, hey, did you find a shiny? Here you go. Boom, shellfish shell. Okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> so. Oh, is this the food quest? Hey, I'd like to take yeah. I thank you. Thanks. Dude, these guys love free handouts. I've got that quest. Got that one. Let's go to Guild HQ. What would you like? Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's go and try to save that guy, the Cave Raider dude, in the third layer. I don't really know how to get to them, to be honest. Oh shoot. Hold on. You know what? I probably should get rid of the crap in my inventory that I don't need. Ooh, that's why there's a fast travel feature. Here we go. Sell. Sell this pickaxe. 
and uh, these bows. Okay, and then let's also buy some arrows. I'll probably need some arrows. Uh, let's go to the shop. And... How much salt do I have of? A little bit. Thank you. There you go. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I really need to get rid of. No. Thank you. Not really. I'll just sell some of these things. Not that they take up too much space. Oh, I guess I should... Well, no, I can make antidotes, can I? Don't really need to worry about that, then. That's probably good enough. I'm just gonna do a little bit more. A lot of preparation goes into each of these. Of course. Sometimes it feels like a little bit too much. Okay. Going down. So we got a couple things we want to do here. We want to save the dude. We also want to get some of the relics that are really strong for like crafting or whatever. Oh, okay. Um, and I want to kill an end jumper, I think it's called. So we've got a few goals here. Which way do I want to go? Both go to the pirate ship area. So I guess I should just go there. Go to one of these. Just go down here. Place is a bit of a mystery, to be honest. It's very maze-like, so it'd be hard to find your way around sometimes. Oh god, I have to go through here. Do 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 do. there's any reason to go down, right? No. Definitely not. Hurry. Oh, this goes to the hexagon pillars. Okay. So this is the other side of them, then. Interesting. I haven't really explored third and fourth layers too much. I kind of just went through them to try and get to some new areas, but... Uh, there's definitely a lot of places here that could be worthwhile. Might hide some secrets. Grade 4 relic from a, a shiny stone. God dang, this is slow. 
Ooh, two shinies. Well, all right. Offerings galore. Um, yeah, let's go back this way. Now I'm going backwards. I don't know if that's even slower. Come on. I don't want to have to kill this guy. Okay. I don't want to, but I have to get through here. Bruh. What's in here? Oh, oh no. Okay. Yeah. I realized as soon as I walked in the room. Oh god. Okay, let me use this... This thing. Bruh. Ha <laughs> ha. Get me out! Let me out of here! Nice. Oh my god, and now we're getting attacked by the little dudes. Jesus Christ, they're strong, man! I'm gonna die to them? What? Oh my god, man. What? what was that? I was not expecting that. Am I like perma debuff now? Jeez. Okay. That was an adventure. Yeah, screw you, bro. Can I, uh... Scan you? Nope. Okay. I'm out of here. Wait, this sucks. I wanted to explore the area more. Well, whatever. Okay, well... I'm, I'm kind of almost dead, to be honest. Um, so that goes to Cold Heat. That goes to Quadruple Pit. I'm pretty sure the guy's in Rock Slide Hall. Which you can get to there from two different areas. I'm not sure which. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that Quadruple Pit leads there. Let's try that. There's also some sparklies that I hear. But I don't really know where. Oh. Up there. How do I get up there? Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna climb down. I get can't get over there. Alright. Quadruple pit. So there should be a bunch of different entrances here. Whoa. Now I don't really know how to get to all the entrances, so let's just like climb down see what happens. Try not to die. Climb up here. Okay, we're safe. Maybe. Over encumbered. Really? Okay. Any other things? Let's drop this. I don't I don't need that. Yeah, I don't need that either. Okay. And then we'll go and cook this meat.
Inventory management is a huge mechanic in this game. So I can go further down if I want, which I do want. Whoa, don't go up. I'm curious what's over there. Oh. Okay, so this does go to the rock slide hall, which is where I want to go. But first, I would like to try and kill one of these guys. If at all possible. I don't think that it will be. Bro, I'm getting cheesed. Okay, yeah, I, I died in sleep. <laughs> okay. Well, that's why there's not a save feature. See if we can uh, mine this without dying, ideally. I don't know if you can climb into places from the side, so I usually try to go from below. Just makes it easier. Less risky. Okay, come on. I always get lost in the menus as well. Uh, so let's drop the bug meat. And drop the insect exoskeleton. And then we will craft... The soft meat. There's a little bit of gap in the, the terrain there. So... Can I send up a mail balloon from here? Because if so, I would like to do that. Oh, okay. There you go. I never really use these things, to be honest, so... Whatever, might as well just use them sparingly. Or, uh, not sparingly. Use them whenever I feel like it. Which is like the opposite of sparingly. Okay. There we go. Perfect. We killed one of these dudes. I had a quest to do that, so... Okay. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> just... <laughs> just leave. And now we get the rock theme song. Don't really know why there's a rock theme song, but... Actually, hold on a sec. Well, it's too late. I don't think I've scanned the uh, end toyers now that I think... Or, um, end jumpers... I scanned them once, but then I died. Yeah, so I think I still need to do that. Alright, something to keep in mind for next time. Oh, and this is an entrance as well, to somewhere. This is also an entrance to the quadruple pit. Okay. Interesting. Oh, jeez. Okay. We will cook the hard meat. And we will also eat this tail meat. And the soft cooked meat. Now... I don't really know how to get into the area that this person is in. Seems like right there somewhere, but I don't really know. It's like this place is a labyrinth.
Okay, yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. So let's go ahead and uh, apply some hemostasis leaves to that injury. Here's the rocks. Oh, here's the dude. I found him. Ah, perfect timing. Would you mind helping me out? Yes. My foot. I can't walk on my own. Could you bring me a bracing branch to help me recover? A bracing branch. He's down here somewhere? Okay, this the syndicator is not super helpful. Like I said, the place is basically a maze. Where is the bracing branch? Sorry to be a bother. I injured my. Okay. Let's investigate the map. So it has to be in a different area, right? Probably below. But how far below? I mean, if it's all the way down there, that's like... Heck not, dude. I'll go here. Okay. I hate the... Dude, these god dang lizards, man. Okay, well, I phased past that guy, so... Okay. Here we go. I just found a splint on the ground. Perfect. Works for me. Dude. Is this a Dark Souls reference? I mean, Elden Ring reference? Oh, I can stop the rocks. Interesting. Car? there's actually like a pretty clear advantage to coming from this direction. It's fun. Uh, dude. Let's just get rid of the sun spheres. I hate the sun spheres. A, a classic. They just take up so much space and like they're a grade 4 relic. You know. I'm gonna have sun spheres then... Or uh, if I'm going to have a, a relic, I want it to either be valuable or lightweight. Sun spheres are neither. Alright, now we got to do this whole shebang. Let's just, just chill out a little bit just because. Also, we... Oh, this is the quest. Find a splint. Makes sense. Just going over the different quests that I've got. Take probably take a while to complete all of them, but that's okay. Oh, thank you. I'll be fine on my own from here. Are you here to help? Yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate it. No problem. That's it. Make sure it's tightly wrapped. All right. I should be able to walk now. It's getting dark. Should we camp for the night? Sure. Oh, I see. Maruk from Seeker Camp put out a search request for me. Maruk is kind. A good Maruk. kid, really. When you return to camp, be sure to tell Maruk thank you for me. You aren't going? This is what I mean by the game is jank. You just can't see the text. Of course I intend to keep cave raiding. Thanks to you, I can walk on my own again. Mm. I've worried Maruk. Mm. Very well. I'll take your advice and head back to Seeker Camp. Oh, okay. He's gone. 
did strongly consider what you said. Forgive me. I'm going to continue cave raiding. I wrote a letter to Maruk. Please Bruh. deliver it on my behalf. I hope we meet again in the abyss soon. You could have just like recovered with said, your foot and then come back down. Meet one of us may be a skeleton. <laughs> if that happens, I'll mourn you or you'll mourn me. Ain't gonna be me. I've got like Undertale powers. I just reload my save. Alright, can we... It doesn't look like there's a way to block these rocks. No, I'm not even gonna bother. Alright, so we gotta... Go back up to Maruk. Turn in that quest. Also give the quest to Maruk. Maruk. Light eater that inhabits the Crystal Valley, dude. That is like so metal. What a crazy monster. Light eater. Craft the balloon. Where are my balloons at? Like I said, I never really use them. Because, um... I don't know. Usually I just let the autosave take care of it for me, but... Sometimes on these quest lines it actually doesn't autosave. So... It would be a good idea to... Save manually. Now... I don't know where a safe ledge is. Okay, well here's one. As usual, I over encumber myself by picking up random objects that I probably won't need. <laughs> yeah. Um. There are like easier parts deeper in to climb. But... I'm kind of trying to go up this way from where I am because I think it'll be faster. Maybe it won't be. I don't know. Yeah, there's actually a lot of like not not like indoor areas, but you know, inside the wall basically. So maybe I'll I'll show some off. Well, I definitely will have to show some off if I want to go to the fourth layer. You'll see, I suppose. Now, let me see. Nope. Can't really scan from here. Unless? Nope. Oh, unless? Jump down? Nope. Okay. Um. Well, let's just uh, try not to die. Dodged. Get up there, man. Okay. We good. See, this area leads to a couple places, I believe. It'd be easier just to go. Oh. Okay, where am I going? I think there's actually a way through down here. Yes. Here we go. Wait. I should equip some food. Now we climb.
Oops. Alright. My greed is often my killer. Always make sure you got space before you mine a rock. Because it might just kill you. stuff. Pick up this, get over encumbered. Nope. Ah, cause I ate that food. It's the strat. Now we get over. Oh, okay. All right, come on. Okay. Uh, I don't remember exactly which way to go. Here we go. Breaking out. And now... Now where do we go? I think to our little right. Oh, there's a gecko there. Here we go. The hexagon pillars. Then from here... We gotta climb up. That's where we were before. It's a shiny over there. I don't think we can get there, though. Uh, I think it's... Yeah. Let's go this way. Here you go. You're gonna see the true nature of the third layer. The cold heat layer. It's over here. Oh, never mind. We're gonna go straight to the second layer. There he is, the big boy, Crimson Split Jaw. He's a spooky one. Oh, where's the exit over here? frogs. I still don't know where the normal ones spawn. That's fun. Now we go here. Now we climb. Lobster friend over here. Oh, one shot. Over encumbered ourselves. So let's drop that. And 
now we run. Okay. Never mind, we're not gonna run. We're gonna fight these guys first. Jesus, come on, man. Bro. They're so strong. They dodge everything. And they just run away. Okay. And these guys are gonna drop like three equipments for me, man. Honestly, I might just drop them. Let's see what they got. Whoa, they got dropped a food. Corpse Weeper Steak. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'm going to drop that, but... I'll keep the other crap. I don't know what to get rid of instead of it. Let's drop some hard stone. And... We'll heal. Okay. I need to drop five. Boom. Yeah, Corpse Weeper Steak. I have a few Corpse Weeper meat, but I don't have the recipe unlocked for it yet. But uh, that food seemed pretty decent. Okay, I think we've got this quest done, right? Yeah. Build enough of the blue guys. Seeker camp. There you go. A letter for me? Yes. Yep. Always forget. I gotta click it. I barely ever receive letters like this. What does it say? Hmm? Well, I'm glad he's safe and wrote me a letter. When people go missing, you usually don't find out what happened. What's wrong? Are you sad that you weren't able to bring that cave raider back? There was Not really. To do. Once a cave raider is mesmerized by the abyss, no one can stop Very fine. That's why I work so hard, so everyone can continue cave raiding. I want to do everything I can to help everyone. I mean, it's pretty much all I can do anyway. Aw. Well, you're doing a great job. Unfortunately, I now have way too much stuff in my inventory. So... Drop that. Drop that. Okay, drop the last one. And, um... Yeah, drop that. Um... <laughs> Bro, I just have too much stuff. I don't know what to say. I guess it's all the rope. All the rope is taking up like half my inventory space. But I don't want to drop it. I'll just drop some a mail balloon. Okay. Uh, I have a few more skill points. I got two more skill points. Let's go ahead and decrease that stamina usage and then, I don't know, I don't know what's useful. Sure, more item box storage. At this point I'm kind of just waiting to become a black whistle. I guess maybe I shouldn't use all of my, uh, all my skill points then. Okay, this time, Ozen, you're dead for real. What is it? This, this is it's becoming. Okay, never mind. Dude, I thought that. Okay, well. Apparently, dodging is not good enough. Oh, she's. She's blocking. 
Okay, this is not very good, huh? I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm a beast. Bro. What was that, man? He grabbed me from like 10 feet away. Okay. <laughs> this is the hardest boss fight in the history of boss fights. Well, another attempt down. Oh, I'm eating, so I can't fast travel. Alright, let's turn in some quests. We got a Shiggy's room. I forgot I, I did this actually. Huh. It was there? Thank you. Oh, but don't Alright, I won't. I don't think I have a stone. Oh I do. One electric stone. Big is another quest for me. Talk. Bro. Hey, have you ever a fox a bone? I probably have one in my chest. Or item box. Uh is this it? No, that's the pulled teeth. Okay, never mind, I don't. No fox bone. It's okay. I'll give it to you next time. Move that over, move that. Honestly, you don't really need a ton of rope. Well, you kind of need some for the fourth layer. So maybe I should take some. I don't know. I don't really ever know like what the right amount is to take of all these different things. Because, like, sometimes you need them, sometimes you don't. <laughs> Whatever. Honestly, I don't even need half this crap. I don't know why I always stock up on stuff that I never use. I deposit all of it and I'd be fine. Alright, um... Let's see... I need more meat. That's what I need. Let's go ahead and hit that. Hey you, I'd like to do you know. Yes. Here is some hard cooked meat. Nice. Thank you, thanks. Uh, I don't have any relics, right? No. Nope. Well, I do have relics, but I'm I'm using them currently. Why did I come here? What am I doing? I'm just Please, like on autopilot. Hello. Nice weather we're having today. Okay. All right. Did that. Let's go to Laffy's shop. So I want to get ten salt. Thank you. And then, Thank oops, you. I want to get eight total. Thank you. Come back again. Will do. I'm gonna craft this. Boom. And then, yeah, this is fine. Go ahead and drop a quick save. And now it's time. I think I'm gonna try and go for uh, the bottom of the fourth layer. I don't know if there's like any specific side quests that you can only do as a moon whistle, but if there are, so be it. It's time. Meat and food first. Let's 
just to pick up some random things. More Sun Sphere is my favorite. Sparkly. Am I, am I going the right way? Where am I going? Okay. I wonder if that's Nanashi's house. No, I'm supposed to go left. I definitely went the wrong way. Here we go. Oh, what are these guys? Pudding slicer. Oh, what the heck is that? Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Um... Why does it sound like there's a monster next to me? Oh god. There's an orb piercer. Bruh. Okay, well. I don't really think we can kill him, so. I'm just gonna have to try to not die somehow? Hmm. I wonder if... I was saying this last time, but I wonder if the smoke signal works at repelling them. My guess would be no. But it would be nice. Alright. Yeah, I... Oh god. <laughs> Dude. Low key might just um, might just die for fun because these ore piercers are uh, no joke. So as you can see, I have a purple aura around me, and that is because I am poisoned. I'm very poisoned, in fact. I'm taking three damage constantly. I guess it's more like two point five, but might as well be three. And, uh, it doesn't stop. It can't kill you, but it, uh, it might as well. Well, yep, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Well, then. That's the game. Gotta scan these dudes again. Honestly, I should just scan them on my way back. Yeah, you know. They're pretty strong, as you can see. And then I just get killed by a, a small bug, because I'm at like 10 health. I heard that there's a trick to avoiding them, but you know, I'm just I'm just doing my thing. I'm pretty sure I heard that they take like zero damage, so I don't think it's really worth it to try and hit them or to try and kill them. Well, low key. Just use all of my arrows on this one guy and hope that I don't need them in the future. Alright. Well. Let's, uh, let's fight him. Why not? Oh, alright. Well, that's why not. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. That's a death animation. Okay. So, last time I was here, in the fourth lair, this guy was not up here. He was at a further, like a lower down part. 
And, um... I had a companion with me. And the companion took most of the hits, so... That was, like, definitely helpful. Alright. Alright. We escaped without getting poisoned. I would say that's a success. Let's, um, let's go and save. One of the few times that I feel like saving. Ooh, don't save over that. My god. Yeah, so a neat little trick. Always try to have at least one save in the orphanage, just in case something terribly awful happens. You, you know, don't want to lose all of your progress. Now I can go ahead and scan this dude. I will say, sometimes the saves in this game can be kind of buggy. Because there was a time that I... Oops. I didn't want to go... I didn't want to go back up. Oh god. I'm going to have to go all the way back up and climb back down again. Um, there was one time that I saved, but then the save spawned me in a different location than where I saved, and so I had to actually redo um, previous portions of the game, or the area that I had already completed. That was pretty annoying. Come on. Oh my god. You know what? Let's, let's eat. Low-key, I could use a little bit of rope. I still have a decent amount left, but... I can definitely run through it pretty quickly. I'm not seeing much rope plant around here. Yeah, I'll be pretty depressed if my save takes me back to before the ore piercer. Hoping that don't happen. Ooh, a shatter pot. That's a new one. Whoa! Whoa, a grade one relic. Okay. Neat. This is a grade one relic? What does it do? I thought grade 1 relics were supposed to be able to, like, tip the power of different nations or something stupid. Um, where am I going, man? Why was it so obvious the first time I came here? Now I'm, I'm clueless. Am I going the wrong way? Why, why can't I climb back up? Yeah, grade one. Supposedly it's a material for crafting uh, equipment, so... I'll have to hold on to that. It's, um, it's been a while since I've really sold any equipment, because... Or, I uh, sold any relics, excuse me. Because a lot of the time, the relics will like, say that they're material for equipment, so... I figure it's better just to keep it, just in case. But I mean, honestly, the only reason why you would sell a relic at this stage in the game is for experience. Because, I mean, you get so much money, it's like, no concern unless you're spending money willy-nilly. My god, man. I hate the bugs in this game. Can I just say that? So, I think it's this way. Seems 
damage, right? I don't really remember coming this way the first time, to be honest, but I guess I had to. Yeah, they're terrible. I assume you're speaking from, like, the first layer perspective. I hate to inform you, it gets worse. They get even more annoying. Really? So they used to be even faster and and worse. I feel bad for the people that played this game originally. Um, I think you just have to go down. drop this rope. Do I have a quest to kill these guys? Uh, yes I do. I won't kill them right now, because I kind of want to save my durability. Well, unless they try to attack me, which this guy's basically standing on top of me. So, there you go. You were kind of asking, okay, you're asking for it too. Tried to save him, but yeah. It's like in the second layer, a bunch of um, of the bugs spawn, and then also a bunch of the birds spawn, and they're infinite, right? So like, they just keep coming and coming and coming, and it's in a lot of areas where you're like trying to climb or something. So yeah, it's it's bad. But, um, I went the wrong way again. This happened the first time that I came here, too. Come on. Alright, this is where I'm supposed to go over here. I am supposed to keep going down. Here we go. Something that is a, like a little bit annoying is that basically any increase in elevation counts as like going up the abyss, which includes going up like 20 humps on the same level. So like sometimes you'll just be walking across what's essentially a flat surface and then you're just like about to get cursed. It's like, what the heck man. Pick up another balloon. Why not? Maybe I'll start using them more. Uh, which way am I supposed to go? There's technically three entrances here. That goes to the Eternal Fortunes, which I assume goes to the area that I'm trying to go to. Uh, can I go to my left? Over here. Yeah. Okay. Jump across. 
I think I scanned this dude, right? Yeah. Alright, so over here, I believe, is where the OG orb piercer was. But it looks like he's gone. Thankfully. There's only one. I'm glad for it. I don't know what these holes are for. Just like... Seemingly random holes. You know, I'm gonna save. I don't know if there's like a trap in there or something that's gonna make me fall through. Okay. Um, it doesn't seem like it. It's just a hole. Alright, good to know. Whoa, what is this place over here? Oh, this is Crystal Valley. Okay. So this is where the Light Eater is. Which makes me feel like I'm gonna, like, die here. But, you know what? Might as well play through it a little bit. Oh my gosh, this place is crazy. You think this stuff kills me? Yeah. <laughs> it does. It, it, it one-shots you, in fact. Okay. Oh my god, wait, there's a lot of entrances here. Urgh. Okay. I mean, I don't really know if it's worth it to be in this area right now, but, you know, how do I, okay, how do I get out of here? Oh, here we go. Yeah, beware of the laser. And it makes sense, but you never know, I guess. Even though I saw the dead bird that got killed by it, I thought maybe. Just maybe. I kind of like that different areas have different themes. Like, even if it's in the same lair. I gotta say, I am quite worried about the Light Eater. I think I said that already, but, um... That looks like a boss arena or something over there. And I couldn't even kill a, a Split Jaw, Crimson Split Jaw, so... Don't really know how I feel about, uh, big boys. How much inventory space do I have? I'm running a little bit low. I think I've got some beast meat. No, I don't have beast meat. The guys that I killed dropped jack. They dropped animal bones, I guess. So, not a ton of food. Oh god. Um... Well, here's where we get to see if we're strong enough. Considering that there is a specific, like, unique quest for this mob, my guess is no. I mean, maybe we could, like, cheese them with a laser beam? guy looks scary. Actually, considering the fact that their name's Light Eater, maybe they don't even get hurt by the laser beam. Maybe it makes them stronger or something. Wouldn't that be something? Okay. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh, yeah, no, don't get cursed here. A little piece of advice for ya.
Okay, well... <laughs> As I mentioned before, you usually want to make sure you're not getting over-encumbered. <laughs> but... Sometimes you just can't help it. Why was I... Oh, I was saving the Rhombusthorn plants for a smoke signal. I don't need a smoke signal. I do need to eat, though. I guess what's nice is I can just, like, kill these birds for some food, probably. Aw. Okay. So... Is that gonna actually hurt it? It did. It killed it. I, I killed the light eater. By shooting it with a laser beam. And it dropped a bird egg. There's no goddamn way, man. This, this legendary mob that has a quest. Not only did I kill it with a laser beam. It dropped a bird egg. And honestly, I'll take it though. It's food. Uh, well, that's fun. I can't save, so if I die, I'll have to do it all over again. And uh, there's a lot of things I want to pick up here, but not a lot of space. Okay, well, first things first, you know we're getting rid of the Sun Spheres. Oh my god, look how many hemostasis leaves I have. I do not need this money. And then let's go ahead and eat the boiled eggs. Now we mine. Another grade 2 relic in the books. So I've got not 300 inventory space, so if this is a heavy guy, then uh, I'm screwed. Let's drop an animal boat. Okay. He was not a heavy guy. That's okay. So how do we get over there? It looks like a completely different area, actually. So I don't think we can get over there. So I guess we just have to go back up, right? Makes sense to me. Oh my god, I almost jumped into the laser, dude. Okay, let's, let's just leave. I'm done farming these guys. How do I leave? I'm so lost. Here we go. Be hit by the laser. Please. Right. Well, let's just climb back up. I don't really know. Maybe that's all that this area is supposed to be for. Killing that dude. And then I guess you can maybe explore other parts of it if you come in through different entrances, maybe. That was kind of cool. It, it's actually interesting. There's not really a lot of puzzles in this game, but that felt like a puzzle where you're kind of like trying to figure out how to kill this giant dude. I mean, obviously it was a very simple, just like mirror puzzle, but still, it's um, not something I've really seen in this game before. So it's kind of cool. So now we just got to make sure not to die. That is, we'll have to do it all over again. Oh my god, okay. I, I'm like psyching myself out. I'm trying to jump over a two centimeter gap, but I don't want to over jump it and just fall off. I can probably just walk onto it.
Yeah, the music is so relaxing. Um, hmm. There's some more mirrors over there. Is there a way to get down? Oh, I can go down this way. Eh. Oh, I can also go up. Eh. Nah. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm so stupid. What the heck? Okay. What am I doing? This is not the same area. This is up, though. I don't really want to go up. I don't want to explore too much. Areas above the Great Vine Bridge. Yeah, I don't want to explore too much right now. I kind of just want to get the Black Whistle stuff going because once I become a Black Whistle, I believe that I should be able to fast travel from the fourth layer. That is what I've heard. So that would end up being pretty nice to be able to get you know, up and down these areas a lot quicker. Um, let's eat some cooked bird. I'm still over encumbered by 25. Man. I just love to pick stuff up. I'm not gonna have any food for the return journey. Where does this go? Oh, another Crystal Valley type area. Well, let's not go there right now. Let's go down. Um. What? what why is there. Oh shoot, dude. It's the bugs, man. It's these freaking bugs, bro. No! They're gonna eat my insides. Where are they? Hide from them? Okay. Yeah, get out of there, dude. That's another thing that I kind of think is fun is that they add like, like whenever you go places for the first time, usually it's for some kind of story reason. So then when you go there the second time, um, they usually try to change it up a little bit. Um, usually it's a little bit more difficult, but I actually like that. Okay, and this looks like the great re uh, the deep tree remains, yeah. What the heck? Oh my god, it's a bird. Okay, let me eat some, some shmeat. Uh-oh. It's so dark in here. Oh my. Cutscene. And they turned off my light for the cutscene, too. How do I get over there? I guess just forward into the right. Oh my god, it's another orb piercer, bro. No shot, I have to get past him. I'm gonna have to get past him twice. Unless? Can I go down here to get over there? Doesn't seem like it. Well, maybe. I just need to get over there. 
If I can do that without interacting with this orb piercer, I would be ecstatic. Boom. More over encumberment. Yeah. This is the stream you've tuned into. The guy that has to mine everything and then figure out what other crap he's picked up to drop. Just slowly getting rid of all my hard stone so that when I actually need it, I won't have it. I actually have a lot in my um, item box, but... kind of nice for crafting smaller stuff, although the scaled umbrella has made my need to craft like the hatchets a little bit obsolete. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. You can't see me. Oh! Jump. Okay. Cool. We made it over here. And now there's these guys. Who, you know what? I'm gonna kill them. Okay, I got, I got injured. <laughs> Serves me right. And to be fair, he, he was about to attack me first. Also, I, I wanted food from him, not an animal bone. Okay, whatever. Let's, let's just go over here. Preferably without dying. Ah. Finally. Okay, dude. This is another area where birds just spawn forever. Is that what you're telling me? Okay. Finally an area where I can use the baton. Honestly, it's, it's not really that useful because I can just climb the wall probably, but... You know. It's kind of a long wall, actually. God, it is so dark, dude. I actually just can't see. Oh my god, I forgot about the interference units. I should have saved for sure. Okay, maybe the air- oh wait, he's probably going to shoot a laser. Yeah. Okay. Hit him. A lot. Now probably back off because he's about to shoot fire. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay, actually. Yeah, this boss fight's too easy, man. Wait for the laser. Boom. Dead. Oh, he's about to blow up. Okay, move. Um, what? Also, I gotta fix my, uh, fix my capture. My guy's not moving. There we go. I don't know why that happens from time to time. Okay, sick. Let's drop a save. I don't know if it did auto save or not, so I'm just gonna... Oh, it looks like it did. It's fine. Are we allowed to go here? I guess, I guess we can go here. We're not really supposed to go here. So you know what? Let me uh, let me just reload. I don't know. I don't think there's actually going to be consequences for going there early, but whatever. 
Okay, cool. And now we gotta make the return journey. Which... I don't know how that's gonna be. Let me just go ahead and grab this relic up here. And then I'll... Oh, shoot, my god. And then I'll make the climb back down. Let's take the rope. Bugs and birds galore. we go. Overall, not a bad journey down, but I mean, usually the return trip is what is difficult, so see how it goes. I don't think it should be too hard, because like, the fourth layer getting down here actually was only like two, three layers, something like that. Be too bad. Um, I don't remember. Here we go. I'm not messing with that dude. Jump. Come on, get over here. Now that I think about it, I don't even know if you can actually. Climb back up. Oh yeah, you can. It's the leaf. Forgot about the leaf. Cool. Got some cute little shroom bears. It's funny that they're like... Considered one organism. Even though they're technically like two different life forms. I mean, I guess technically we're like a trillion different life forms, right? I mean, even. What the heck was that noise, dude? Even like. The mitochondria is just technically its own life form, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Biology. It's kind of interesting. Oh my god, I almost died. Uh, let's make some hard meat. Because hard meat is really good. And then I think we got enough for a boiled egg. Cool. We're going to have to run through the uh, insects again. Ooh, first let's grab that. Oh, and let's grab this. Yeah. Uh oh. Ah, it's making me hallucinate or whatever. Oh, there's actually another entrance to an area back here. I didn't even realize that. That's interesting. Okay, let's let's try and let's not die. Okay, this is another entrance to the Crystal Valley. Cool. We're not going to go through there. Oh, let's pick up this. Uh-oh, we're going to be over... Okay. <laughs> what? I've cursed myself. Low-key, should I just drop it? Am I going to get wrecked by these guys? Okay... No. No. Okay, there we go. I don't think the health will bite us. 
because we have quite a few bandages, so even though traveling upwards takes health, I should be able to heal most of it. I think. Oh god. Also, our food can heal us, and we can make food that heals us. This is an ivy badge? I'm not taking it. Alright, it was an ivy badge. It just feels so bad to leave behind a grade 3 relic. Even though it's technically like the second to lowest grade. I don't know man, it just hits different. I think it's the color. The orange color just makes it feel powerful. On, get on there. And let's run over here. I'll go ahead and save my weapon durability. I don't need to kill these guys right now, do I? Actually, how many have I killed? Maybe I should kill them right now. Oh no, never mind. Killed three. I need to kill seven more. Definitely no need. Let's, let's dodge that. And then let's kill him. What's my guy doing? Um. Okay. I think I can just drop down. Maybe it's dangerous. I don't know how much the fall damage is. Alright, don't mind that. If you do, you'll you'll probably fall off the rope and die. bird eggs uh, all the way, I guess. Am I supposed to go over here? And then up here. Aw. Oh, don't fall off. It's such a narrow passageway. It's a relatively calm journey up. I didn't think it would be too difficult to get back from the fourth lair, because like... I said it earlier, there's really only a couple places you actually need to go up. Um, and also... Not a lot of enemies, really. Like, the orb pierce is the only thing. 
I'm worried about. I think I said this stuff already. I mean, so like disoriented. I got, it's the curse of the abyss, man. I'm under the strain. I can't think straight. But um, yeah. I mean, I I should become a black whistle off this, which will be really sweet. I don't really have a lot of experience, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a bunch of skill unlocks. That's kind of why I was thinking earlier, like, I probably should have actually um, not leveled up those other skills, because it would have been nice to have um, a way to unlock the new recipes, but I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. How much rope do I have? Two? It's pretty low. But I guess we're going up, so we probably won't need a rope. Ugh. I mean, we do need this one, so... Let's actually go back and get this rope back here. Just in case. Oh, you know what? I think there actually will be one spot that I need a rope. Um, there's probably going to be rope there anyways, but yeah, rope is kind of important. In certain areas. Um, why am, why did I, why did I put this rope down up here, bro? I am so dumb. <laughs> it's fine. I don't need this rope, right? I can just climb over here. Yeah. Oh, and here's more rope. Perfect. Now I need to eat more? I'll definitely want to save, like, right before I get to the, um, the dude over here. Assuming he's still here. I guess it's possible he could have left. I highly doubt it, though. I doubt this game would be that nice. Oh, hold up. Another Ivy Badge. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. And there. Got another shiny. I have to take it. I literally don't have a choice. Alright. And now we ascend. I guess I can turn the light off. Not that it really affects anything, but... I don't remember going up this way the last time that I was here. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know what I feel like. Okay. If we get poisoned by this guy, it's kind of bad, low key. Okay, we're, we're so chilling, dude. It's actually not possible for us to die anymore. Now we'll scan these guys for real this time. Where's the, the, the fish, the ugly fish? No offense to the fish.
Up we go. To the freezing hot mines. Boom. There's a shiny in here. I actually need some relics in here. If I can get some grade 2 relics, that would be fantastic. Alright, that's not a grade 2 relic. I think this area is so cool. They, um, in the manga, they didn't really like have a lot in the third layer, which, you know, like makes sense just because it's literally a giant pit. But I like that they tried to make it more interesting um, in the anime and the uh, the game. Right, where they add like this inside area in the game, and then also in the anime they had like the um, the anime exclusive episode and like the crystal pillars, which they actually use the crystal pillars in this game, right? Um, the hexagonal pillars area that I was in earlier was, I assume, inspired by that anime episode. So yeah, it's cool. Uh, you know what? Let's just discard these antidotes. I don't need them. I can craft them whenever I want. Actually, I only have one hemostasis leaf, so I can't. Um, is this, this is the wrong way, isn't it? Man. Okay, whatever. Nope. Okay, well, fine. We'll pick this up. More encumbered. My god. There's people getting rough and rowdy outside. I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, I should get rid of this. I'm just going to discard it. The reason why I liked keeping a, okay, a weaker weapon... Dude, I'm going to lose my mind. The reason why I liked keeping a... There's no shot, right? Is it not possible to mine this thing? Okay. Like I said... Jank City. Um, anyways, the reason why I liked keeping a weaker weapon on me was that I could kill the um, the small enemies. But I got this scaled umbrella, which basically fulfills that purpose. So not really a need for that anymore. Although I kind of need a little bit more food, I think. So. Might have to kill some Nari Tantans on the way up. Not now, of course, but later. Um, I also don't know if I want to keep the offerings. Do I have any in my storage? I do, I have a lot of them. I don't know how many I would need. I guess I could always come back down, so I am just going to discard them. I mean, they're great for a relic, right? It's not like they're really worth anything, so they'd only be useful as crafting materials. Which, honestly, I actually don't know if they can be used as crafting materials. I didn't check that. But I'm looking for the grade 2 relic that you can find here. Because that would be useful. Nope. I need two more to make the gun. Although I guess it's possible. Well, no, probably not. My guess is that I have to use the like previous tier of weapon to craft the next tier of weapon. So if I want to make a gun, I probably need the the base relic gun. So I probably will have to go ahead and uh, mine some relics to make that. Oops. There we 
god. Oh, don't get knocked off. Come on. Um, can I go through here? The rock slide hall? I mean... Nah. I shouldn't. I should just go through the glass layer, right? Probably. It might be faster to go through the rock slide hall, but I don't really know what the route is, and I kind of just want to get back ASAP, so... you're supposed to get these. I guess the rope. You're just supposed to rope down. Although I can get these. Quite a few relics over here. Let's go ahead and drop the offering. And drop more hard stone. <laughs> Stress ball. Offering. Drop that. I don't even think I need the stress balls anymore. Alright, well. I've got them. In case I do. Um. Dang, I have no food, huh? That's rough. It's my hunger. My hunger's okay. Let's... What do I have in my storage? 40 hardstone. Okay. We're gonna drop one of these. And we're gonna drop one of the ropes. Because I do need a rope to get back, but I shouldn't need more than that. Oh god, there's another shiny there, dude. I'm, um, I don't want to get baited, but also I kind of do want to get baited. It's fine. We'll see if I even need to craft it before actually coming back. To, uh, get the relics. And now we crawl. I wish crawling was a little bit faster. Just, just my take. go. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's kill some of these guys. Try and get a little bit of food from them. Stop meat. Eat the soft meat. Soft meat again. Cool. And let's drop our last hard stone. Hopefully we don't need that. Now we crawl again. Alright. Glass layer. Turn my light on, actually. So, if I remember correctly, I gotta climb up here. Run. Oh god. The guy goes. Maybe I should just try and kill him. Hit him. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna die to the geckos, dude. I'm gonna run out of stamina, man. Bro. Okay. What do they drop? Beast meat? These guys? I mean... Okay, I guess. Like, sure. And animal bones, and animal bones, and... Okay. Interesting. Would not have expected them to drop a beast meat. Kinda associate that with, you know, big guys. But, whatever. It's all the same in your stomach. And here we go. Blow the whistle. Climb up. Don't get cursed. Climbing, keep climbing. Alright. Break our way out. I think it's Minecraft. Down and down we go. I wonder if there's an interesting, more interesting way to do this. I'm just gonna try to... Yeah, okay. Last time I tried to, to climb on that wall while I was even, it, it did not work. I just like fell off. It was very confusing. Oh, come on. Very confusing. Whistle. Break the ice. Crimson split jaw. Run away from the crimson split jaw. Specifically, run up. Because, you know, it's down there. I'm pretty sure these guys can fly, though. Or maybe not. Maybe it's they can only fly because they like the updrafts. Maybe that's what it was. I don't really know. Anyways. Okay, so we do have to break this to get down. to watch this cutscene again. I guess I could skip it, but I'll let you enjoy the amazing animation. Dead. Just crushed him to death. With a, a giant boulder. I don't even know. Yeah, I guess it is a giant boulder. Okay. And now... Wouldn't you know it? This is the area that we were in before. When I was getting up in the third layer the first time. So how about that? So we're basically going to end up taking the same route that we did. Um, although, we're going to fast travel immediately instead of going back to Seeker Camp. Dang, man. It's so hard to get the, uh, the relic that we need. Shoot. Try over here, maybe. I don't want to spend forever getting this thing, but while I have the chance, I might as well try, I feel like. It doesn't hurt to try. That's my opinion. 
Although it kind of hurts to try. Alright, we're going to get rid of an Ivy Badge. Screw it. They're pretty common in the fourth layer, so... Alright, that was not worth. Now we go up here. I don't know if there's a faster way to get up from here. But this is the way that I know. And I'd rather just take the familiar route than, you know, go exploring when I'm on a major mission. Ooh, look at all these relics. God dang. Let me drop these offerings, though. Oh, sh oh. Okay. We got one. We need two, though, to make this gun. The gun in question is the relic gun. We only have one tangled fluid. I think we don't even have the mushroom balls either, but that's not a huge deal. We can just get those whenever. We also have a ton of stress balls. God dang. Um, we're about to get hit by a boulder, so let's try and avoid that. By doing this. And we'll mine this. It's an offering, as expected. And we'll drop it. Okay, cool. Oh my god, more relics. Okay, so the problem here is that I need to drop stuff before I mine it. And if it's a stress ball, it'll be really heavy. Let's let's drop one of these. It was a stress ball. Sweet. It replaced itself, I guess. Climb up. And there. My character's classic catchphrase. Ow, what the? Okay. And here. More. Oh my god, there's so many shiny relics, dude. Wait a minute. Okay, but the mail balloon? I can't use the mail balloon. Uh, should I go for it? No, I shouldn't. I don't have food. Ugh, this is low-key bad. Um, which way am I supposed to go? This one. I always forget. Oh my god, look at all the shinies, dude. I died. I'm not going to waste my time mining these relics because I know that they aren't what I want. Oh, wait. What's up here? Is this the way out? Is it way faster, maybe? Whoa, what the? I mean, this way is not the way to the Tangled Flu, it is my biggest concern, but... You know what? That's... that's fine. I kinda just want to get out of here. Like, what is this wall that I'm climbing, man? How tall is this thing? This feels like it's the other side of the hole. I was climbing up earlier. In which case, I'm pretty sure one of the things over there is actually the tangled fluid, but it's okay. An offering. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Over here. Come on. Climb up. 
Alright. Um. Yeah, so this is the other side of the hole. I, th I think. So I need to go over here. How do I get over there? What? This is way more confusing. Not over here. Over here is where I came from. Wait, what? Bro, I am so lost. I should have just gone the way that I was going originally, man. Because now I have no clue where I am. I'm on the other side of the wall to where I was. So how do I get how do I get there? Wait, am I? Look how far away I am on the minimap. I'm on like the other side of the world. Where am I? Oh, I can break through here. Okay. Now we're here. Okay. Sweet. We somehow made it back. That was... That was a journey. Anything over there? Okay. Well, now we're kind of low on food, aren't we? Oh, we got this. I didn't eat this yet. Okay. We were still kind of low on food, but... It's okay. There are some mobs we can... kill for some food. Okay. Gotta be quick. Good. We have inventory space. We're gonna mine this. It was not worth it. And here we are. Hexagon pillars. Yeah, I think we need a little bit of food probably, but we can kill the uh, mountain spinners in here for food, so. It's no big deal. Alright. I think we're gonna make it. Which means I think we're gonna become a black whistle. Which is exciting. Let's just kill these guys. Animal bone. Not what I wanted. Beast meat. There we go. Where's the beast meat? Just cooked meat. Oh wait, this thing's actually running low on durability. One time I actually broke my hatchet. And it was very sad because it takes it takes a few relics to make this thing so breaking it is uh or replacing it rather is not so easy here we go go in here and then okay come on he broke my leg man there's no freaking way there's no god dang way Okay. Am I gonna die? <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. 
Get over here. Okay. Of course he dropped an animal bone. And here we are. The second lair. And now we can get out. We did it. We did it. Welcome back. It appears you have completed the mission assigned by the Cave Raider Guild. Yes, I did. What do you think, Habulk? Make me a black whistle. <laughs> Passing with flying colors. I knew I was right about you. Mm-hmm. That's right. Here you go. This is your black whistle. Dude. We're the same rank as Habbo. Well, it sure looks good on you. Now you I can can't see it because the text the text box. Doesn't that excite you? I'm thinking about diving deep into the abyss for the first time in a long while. If you ever need my help, give me a holler. I do. I would love your help. Please help me. Okay. Hello. Welcome. New quests to accept. Oh my god, there's so many quests to accept. Defeat the Crimson Splitjaw. Kudara. Craft and submit a green bone helmet. 50 horn card, 30 ancestors. Oh my god, man, these quests are getting out of hand. Please come. Hello. Black Whistle Pickaxe. It is sturdy and designed for use in snowy regions. That kind of scares me. Because it makes me think that maybe I'm going to need, like, specialized equipment for uh, Lair 5. I hope that's not the case. Gosh darn, there's new equipment, huh? This armor is actually stronger than what I have. So, could be worth getting. Uh, I have two points, so I can unlock the recipes. Boom. Perfect. So, I unlocked some... I unlocked the super lightweight baton, which I definitely won't need. Got this stuff, and... Okay, so you actually... Oh, interesting. So you actually don't need the previous relic equipment to make the new stuff. It's kind of fun. Four pulled teeth. I have one. So I'll have to get those. Um, I also need... Tangled fluids to make the bow. But I actually don't need the bow. I was using the bow before because the bow was technically stronger than the gun, but this gun. Oop, this gun is stronger and the bullets are stronger, so. I'll take that. And these. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna buy these. And the armor. Whoa. So the relic hat is 200 defense. Interesting, interesting. And this also, of course, takes 
upgraded bone equipment. My god, dude. Okay. It's gonna be a while before we can craft this stuff. Oh lord. Bone equipment all requires strong scales. So, uh... I think it's gonna be time for more fishing. Sadly. Yeah, I guess... If you are unaware... Fishing is how you get the upgrade equipment, or uh, the upgrade items, for a decent amount of the equipment. And I spent a long time fishing to make the relic equipment before I went to the third layer. And it appears that I now need to do that again. Which is no fun, of course. It's okay. We do what we gotta. I guess let's go ahead and start by getting these side quests. Oh, I have a quest that's a bit troublesome. Will you please take Because we'll probably do a bit more exploring through the third and fourth layer for some relics. I was having trouble because no one wants to take it. It's actually a request from a certain research facility. Ooh. It seems that they're developing an antidote that works for every poison from the abyss. Is it idle front? In order to do that. They need large amounts of samples gathered from the fifth layer of the abyss. The samples and quantities needed are on this list I'll give to you. Wait, what? They just need Please the, the poison? On the list and deliver them here. Where I've got like a million of those. I can get those from the first layer, man. This is the easiest request I've ever seen. Check out the telescope again. Sure, go right ahead. Use it for as long as you wish. I'm a black whistle, by the way. Thank you. I got like so bored. Speaking of which, Rico often used this telescope when she was here, didn't she? That's right. Whenever Rico came to make deliveries, she would peer into the abyss. I wonder what sort of scenery Rico studied. Whenever I visit, I, don't I know. see something completely new. I never get tired of looking. Really? Well, I don't get tired of watching you and Rico. Okay. Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy, thank you again for today. Come back anytime. Sure thing. Thanks. By the way, Laffy, what you reading? Oh, this? It's a cookbook full of recipes. Oh, are you going to add more dishes to your menu? Can I have that, please? No, not quite. I have a regular, but they always order the same thing. I was thinking of making some sort of dish that they've never tasted before, but I'm having trouble well, choosing. Well, they always order the same thing. You hey, pick probably look. literally anything else. Please. Oh god. It says it has a flavor like no other fish does, and that once you try it, you won't be satisfied with any other meal ever again. That sounds intense. I suppose we could try it. Oh, but we'd need a fish that's not sold in the markets. Don't I'd worry, I can get it. Guild. I'm a black whistle. Leave that to me then. Allow the future legend from Beltro Orphanage to get it for you. Right? Yeah. Are you sure? Thank you. You're always here when I need help. Again, I find myself in need of your kindness. Could you imagine? Like, you got this person who has this kid that they, you know, have kind of watched grow up. They're like, hey, can you go to the fifth layer for this ingredient? And then I just like, they just die. <laughs> it's like... Probably feel a little bit bad, you would have to imagine. Maybe not. Come back again. Hey you, I'd like to 
Do you know? Oh, I don't have food. That's too okay. bad. Whatever. Selling some new things. I'm guessing the equipment. Yeah. Ooh. Some new charms. I will take that. And some energy rations. Yo, low key? Hold up. They're lightweight. They heal. They give hunger and stamina. Wait, these things are broken. They're kind of expensive, though. Hmm. Take a look if you're interested okay. in foreign goods. See, I've been streaming for about two and a half hours. I'm probably gonna stop somewhat soon. Please come again. Um, I might stream for about like 30 minutes more. Maybe not though. But you know, we'll try and get some some tasks done. I don't want to just get out of here. Now that I've become a black whistle, I need to I need to do something fun. I, I don't know what that would be, but it'd be something. Um okay. first things first. Let's remove those. Actually, let's remove oh God, where am I? those, and then re-equip all these. Because I can cure poison, I can cure paralysis. Breaking the leg and arm is annoying, though. I can cure it, but it's annoying. I'd rather not. Yeah, so these this stuff does use the bone equipment. So gonna have to buy a full set of bone equipment plus one extra bone to make the helmet. So let's do that. Two bone helmets. Uh, one bone jacket, one bone trousers, one bone gloves, one bone shoes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I guess I can just go ahead and buy some of these arrows. God dang, they're heavy though, man. But, I mean, supposedly they're, they're strong. No problem. Actually, am I dumb? Oh my god, I have the materials to make the gun. So I should just buy the bullets and make the gun. <laughs> there we go. How about this? Nah, I won't sell anything. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so open the item box and let's see what we can make. So we can technically make the relic pickaxe. There's one shatter pot, three stress balls. That's fine because we can use the other two shatter pots to make this thing. Which we'll do. We got the relic pickaxe. So we need some pulled teeth, shattered pot, two more shattered pots, two tangled fluid, two ferrous spheres. Oh my god. And then we need a bunch of crap for the bone equipment. We can actually make this this helmet. So we can actually turn that in for the quest right now. I'll go ahead and just do that. Um 
Is there a cooking quest as well? Probably, right? Maybe not, actually. Oh yeah, here it is. Fried meat platter. I probably need to unlock it, don't I? Yeah, I think there's a, a skill for fried food. Fried dish recipes, yeah. Alright, fine. What other skills do I have unlocked? Just more capacity, reduced effective arm and leg injury. Increased skinning speed, that's kinda that's kinda good. So I didn't realize this before when I got this skill up here, increased gathering speed. But um increased skinning speed. That doesn't increase the speed of the animation, it actually just doubles the amount of loot that you get. Which is pretty good, in my opinion. Aha, uh -huh, you can now interrupt your attacks. Now that's good. Yeah, we can just cook a bunch of food, I guess. Eh, I'll save it in case I need- I guess I, I kind of cooked some food, which I shouldn't have. Move that. Uh, yeah, let's just get rid of the bow. Since I have the gun, I don't really need the bow. I can move those. The arrows are actually heavier than the um, the bullets. So that's kind of nice. Put those over. Oops! Don't equip that. Move it. Move that. And move that. Uh, yeah, and we'll move that. And move that. And we'll move these. God, my inventory is basically empty because I don't have food or rope. Okay. Well. So, let me see. Just to check again, I need strong scales. A lot of them. 27 total, and I have one, so I need 26. I also need explosive stone to upgrade this. Everything else I've got. Explosive stone. Where would that be? I guess the fifth layer, probably. So I'll probably have to go to the fifth layer to get that. Shouldn't be that big of a deal though. The strong scales are the thing that I'm most annoyed by. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah. I'll be able to equip the same number of relics. Okay. Beyond that, after I craft the relic stuff, I need a lot more tangled fluid. Oh my god, I need four. What? Dude, I need six ugly spinners total? Oh my god. I need a lot more shatter pots, more fair spheres, more tangled fluid. Okay. Lots of things to collect, but that's, that's alright. That's what we expect. I had none of these recipes unlocked. I mean, honestly, overall though, like... Eh. eh. I've got a decent amount of the stuff that I need. Uh, oh, that's right, I've got the quest for the guild. Let's turn that in. Nice weather we're having today. I have no idea what the Mantoyer rares are. I assume somewhere on the fourth layer. I know there are a lot of areas that I didn't really explore, so. I don't know where that is, it just says defeat the Crimson Splitjaw. I assume there's a specific one that I'm supposed to kill. 
I need to go 50 mountain spinners. Oh my god. So many quests. Oh, now I need to make the EX warm hat. Red. Please. You yeah, how to make that. More strong scales. Heck yes. Okay. For now, let's go ahead and... Welcome. Honestly, I should just farm the hard meat. Alright. Let's save first. Um, yeah. It's two hours and 40 minutes. How long have I been streaming? So, I'm gonna... Probably spend the last part of the stream just grinding out a few materials. Not gonna be able to grind out everything, because there's a lot of scales I need to get, so... I'll probably spend quite a significant portion of next stream... Doing that. Just as a... FYI, I suppose. PSA, maybe, you could say. But, um... Yeah. You know, in the meantime... <laughs> If you want to head out, I understand. There's not going to be anything interesting happen, probably. Just, just killing, we're killing frogs. Oh my god, okay. Never mind. That was interesting. I've never seen that before. Yeah, this is where the um, extra skinning speed would be useful, because... We'd probably get double meat from these frogs, I would have to imagine. And hard-cooked meat, in my opinion, is, like, one of the best foods in the game. At least, like, just to be able to farm. Because you get hard meat from these frogs, and then you just add salt to it, and you get 30 hunger and 100 health. Or 100 weight. Which, a lot of the recipes, like soft-cooked meat, and whatnot are similar and that it's a hundred weight and you add meat and a salt but most of them only give 20 hunger and barely any health so hard cooked meat is pretty nice in that regard all right here's more bugs where are the frogs at i'd like to kill some more frogs there we go Let me actually see if there's anything on the map for um, this quest. So I know there's the one Crimson Split Jaw there. There's a Crimson Split Jaw there. And there's a Crimson Split Jaw here. I don't see a quest marker for him. Um... So what does it mean? Kill the Crimson Split Jaw. I forgot I could have completed that. Could have just, uh... Done whatever. Picked up the poisons from my inventory. Oh, I just realized. There's actually ten parts of the fifth layer, but I guess you can only gather things in some of them? Maybe like part four, part five, part eight, part nine, you can't gather anything in. Maybe. That's my guess. I don't know. I need to kill Natobas and Silk Fangs as well. And the Corpse Sweepers. Oh, and a lot of Horn Criers. Okay. And they barely give anything either. It's like a thousand XP. I mean, I guess that's a decent amount. It's like a fourth of a level, but still. It's just like, Jesus, bro. Boom. 
All right. Kill these dudes. Run. Gather. Um, ascend. I guess I can go ahead and craft this meat. See how much I've actually got. Eight. That's pretty good. Go ahead and buy some salt. Not 99. Well, no. <laughs> Low key. I was actually theorizing at one point about just like buying a bunch of cheap ingredients or just gathering a bunch of cheap ingredients and then just like putting them in my item box. That way I could just access them later. Putting them in my item box, not so I can X them later, so that I could like craft food while in my item box. Basically, like craft whatever food I wanted. Was the idea. Obviously, I didn't end up doing it, but. For a second, I thought maybe the game was being more forgiving on like going up you know, 10 inches, but nope, still get punished. Okay. We're supposed to kill the freaking horn criers, whatever, it's fine. So I don't need, I don't need to fish here. This fishing here will only get me the limber scales, which I'm pretty sure I don't need anymore, thank the lord. Just need strong scales, which are also very annoying to get, because it's the same method as the limber scales. Got a fish. Let's get one of these guys to come down and fight, man. This guy. Yeah, come on. I'm waiting. Get down here, man. I want to shoot you. Oh my god. Yo. That was... That was lit, man. A lot of corpse weepers. There's actually enough corpse weepers in here almost to complete the quest. Seems kind of hard to get their attention though. Right, let's just climb down here. Really? No shiny relics? Okay. Okay, I, I one shot him. Heck yeah. Boom. Okay. I mean, I need fox bones. For um, Shiggy's quest, so if I could somehow find some of those, that would be nice. Although I'm pretty sure I need a rope to get down from here. Oh, there's a rope. Okay, can I kill these guys? No. Yes. They drop beast meat. Okay. I always thought they were actually unkillable, because 
usually whenever you hit them, they just like extend their spikes, but maybe you just need to hit them with a really strong weapon or just hit them a bunch. Who knows? I don't really remember what I'm doing here. I'm kind of just going through the motions. Um, ah, she wants food. Okay, here's three cooked meat. You can have the cooked meat. Hey, I'd like to do. I thank you. Thanks. Let's do that right now. Let's get the poisons out of here. Um, go to my item box. Go to the poisons. Take some of those. Take some of those. Take some of those. I don't remember how much of each I have already. Okay, sure, it's fine. Move those. Move that. Move that. Move that. I guess I should take some hard stone with me, just in case. Same with animal bones. I didn't realize I actually had some in my uh, thing. Although, now that I think about it, maybe I don't need as many of these, because, like, now that I actually have tools that are durable, I don't need to make a million weapons per run. So, yeah. Meh. Nope. Guild HQ. Oh, you gathered all the samples. Yes, I did. Thank you. Was... I'm sure it was tough. No. I think now they can finally make that new antidote. Thank you so much. No problem. I would have loved to level up. Oh, oh it's what's you. up, Habo? Speaking of which, or Habo? You took a quest to help make a new antidote, right? Yes. The research facility that made that request was closed down. Seems like after your samples were delivered there, the researchers all started to collapse for some reason. It's not too rare for researchers to succumb to poison, but their symptoms seem different from the poisons they were dealing with. Interesting. On top of that, the top brass, the chief researcher, should have been hit the hardest, but he was totally What the heck? Some kind of conspiracy after theory going on. the researchers collapsed, they finally figured out what had happened. They were supposed to make a new antidote, but instead they created an even worse type of poison. The chief researcher Bruh. had been testing poisons on himself and monitoring the results. Due to this, he developed a strong tolerance for poison. The idea of an antidote that worked on all the poisons in the abyss seemed suspicious from the beginning. When you're a black whistle, you can sense these kind of things. No wonder nobody was willing to take on that quest. Bruh. <laughs> this dude just calling me out. You just became a black whistle recently, so there's no helping it. Once you gain more experience, you'll be better at avoiding weird quests. Well, hey, that one's on me. But low key, it's their own fault, right? So. Welcome. Two thousand gold for the high relic pickaxe and fifty XP. Thank you. It's me. less than two sun spheres. The XP. All right, let's um. You know what? Let's call it here. I'm, I'm done, man. <laughs> I am. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a lot of grinding next stream, anyways. So I'll just save it for next time. It might even be two streams that I have to just spend grinding for materials. I don't know. But, um, 
yeah, that was that was cool. There was there were some cool areas. I haven't been to every area in the fourth layer yet. I'll probably do that next stream. Just exploring around, seeing what kind of stuff there is, because I still need to kill a lot of different types of monsters. So um, I'm gonna have to explore a little bit. And since I can fast travel, it's a lot um, more forgiving to explore and all that. So yeah, I'll do that. I might explore a little bit more in the third layer. Maybe try to get all of the entrances and exits, just cause. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more in the second layer as well. I might kill a Crimson Split Jaw next time. That could be fun. But, um, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this stream. It was, uh, it was pretty fun. God, man, next stream is gonna be another fun one, for sure. I mean, honestly, I don't know. We might be able to get a lot of things quickly, like, in the first fishing stream, the one that I did before going to the third layer, I actually got everything that I needed in a single stream. Um, but... I don't know. The Tangled Fluid is... Seems like it's going to be pretty hard to get. Also, the Grade 1 Relic. The fact that I need six of those, and they're only found in the fourth layer, and I only found one after picking up, like, 30 relics... I don't know, dude. I'm just hoping I can kill an ore piercer or something. Because if I have to just run past them every time, then yeah, that's going to be a pain. But it seems like they're pretty bad at avoiding range attacks. So my new gun should be able to take care of them decently well. Actually, I should probably be able to kill one based on the damage that I was doing previously with that bow. But yeah, anyways. That's, uh, that's all stuff to think about for next time, right? So, for now, that'll do it for this stream. Hope you all enjoyed, and uh, hope you all have a good night, good day, wherever you are in the world, whatever time it is. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Well, I do hope to see you next time, but I wouldn't blame you if you missed out on the next stream either. <laughs> Probably not going to be super entertaining. Eh, there might be some side quests that I end up doing that could be fun, but yeah, mostly just a lot of killing monsters, mining for relics, and, and fishing. It's going to be a second fishing stream. Yeah. See you on later, and peace.